Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is Chapter 5 of Dragon Masters, Saving the Sun Dragon. Chapter 5, Anna's Story. The Dragon Masters crowded around Capri. Feel better? Anna asked her dragon, but Capri just closed her eyes again. Bo looked at Griffith. Will the potion work right away? I do not know, Griffith said. We must wait and see. You all should head to dinner while I stay with Capri. I'm not leaving her, Anna said firmly. Griffith put a gentle hand on her shoulder. Anna, you must take care of yourself, he said. You must stay strong for Capri. I will send for you if anything changes. The dragon masters left the cave, leaving a worried wizard and a sick dragon behind them. Up in the dining room, they all picked at their dinner. Anna only ate a few bites of food. Drake ate some carrots and chicken, but only about half as much as usual. Bo stared at his plate. Even Rory was quiet for a change. Then the door at the end of the room banged open. One of the king's soldiers walked in. Do you have news about Capri? Anna asked. The soldier walked over to Drake without saying a word. He handed him a rolled up piece of paper. Drake opened it. It's a letter from my mom. Dear Drake, it is good here in the fields. The onions are big. I know you are busy helping the king with his special project, but I miss you. Work hard. Love your mother. Drake felt tears sting his eyes. He knew he was doing important work for the king, but he still missed his mom. I wish I could tell my family about the dragons, Drake said. They have to be kept a secret, Rory warned. I wish my father would write to me more often, Anna said. I'd like to hear about his adventures. What kind of adventures? Bo asked. My father sells beautiful fabrics, she said. He travels all over faraway lands selling them. And we lived near the pyramids, so I often went there with him. What's a pyramid? Rory asked. It holds a king's body after he dies. It's sort of shaped like this. Anna made a triangle shape with her hands. The pyramids are bigger than anything you've ever seen. Your dad's adventures sound amazing, say, said Drake. They are, on a side, but they're all so dangerous. There are many robbers on the roads. The robbers steal from people who have goods to sell, like our fabrics, and they often steal gold and other treasures from the pyramids. That is why my father did not argue when King Rollin's men came for me. He knew I would be safer elsewhere. Anna looked sad. Bo was quiet. I guess everyone else is just as homesick as I am, Drake thought. After dinner, Drake and Bo went to the room that they shared. Drake climbed into bed and fell asleep right away. He dreamed of rivers and big tombs shaped like triangles. Then the desert sky turned green, bright green. Drake woke up. The green dragonstone around his neck was glowing brightly. Worm needs me, Drake thought. Then he heard Worm's voice inside his mind. Come now. End of chapter five. See you soon for chapter six. Bye-bye.